Welcome to the You Win Tool Parade, the teacher to teacher open overview of what EdTech can do for you. From the University of Windsor's Faculty of Education, I'm Anthony. And I'm Alicia. And we're setting up for a debate of the ages between Kahoot and Mentimeter. Asking and answering questions is essential to learning and discovery. Both Mentimeter and Kahoot are interactive student response tools. The teacher designs and sets up layouts and formats that allow for open-ended questioning. Mentimeter and Kahoot will generate a six-digit code for a specific session. Both platforms keep the students' names anonymous, which means they choose their own display IDs. These are social learning platforms that can help classes get engaged and give feedback on what they're learning. To use Kahoot, you just sign up for an account, and from there, you can create questions that students can answer. This means that you can create different options for the answers and students have to select the correct one. You can add in photos, videos, GIFs, and polls for more ways to engage learners. That sounds great and all, but can Kahoot offer in-platform presentation designs like word clouds, reactions, and short answer options? Just like Kahoot, you sign up with the same type of information and input questions the exact same way. And Mentimeter offers truly open-ended questions, which means there's no one type of answer or response. So it sounds like Mentimeter is winning this one easily. What about collaboration? Kahoot has a team mode where students can work together across the classroom or even across the world. Well, Mentimeter might not have that, but if you want students to work together, just have them share one Wi-Fi connected device in a group. So Mentimeter is free, but does have some restrictions. You can use all types of presentation slides, like word clouds and polls, but you can only do five quiz questions and two premium questions for this presentation. If you want unlimited features, Menti offers educational access for $6.99 US a month, or pro or premium access at $14.99 US a month. But unless you want to add your cute logo or add anything else into the mix, basic is all you'll need. Aw, how cute. You have to pay. Well, Kahoot is free for all the unlimited quiz questions. So you can play, search, and create. If you do want more features, such as the team mode or a detailed reporting, you can buy the pro package for just $1 a month. Kahoot does use cookies and it tracks the student's data. So when the teacher signs up, it keeps their name, their email, password, and much more than that. Mentimeter also collects information from the account holder, but not as much as you mentioned. They do keep the IP address, but only for 14 days, less than the standard 30. We can agree that both platforms have great benefits for different types of learners. I totally agree. Both enable visuals, which allow for different language learners to practice and perform in authentic classroom conversations. Another great use is for students with anxiety, stress, or fear of failure. So the students can remain anonymous while choosing their own ID. Both platforms provide students with an equal opportunity to contribute to classroom discussions. One cool thing about Mentimeter is their accessibility for low income students. Mentimeter will actually sponsor students who are unable to access a device to use their platform. Wow, that's really awesome for Mentimeter to do. So both platforms can create new formats for classroom conversation. Yes, they do. But do they stack up equally? Overall, Mentimeter gets three quarters of an apple from the teacher for open-ended possibilities and visuals. Three quarters of an apple for privacy, because if you pay for the basic fee, you do get total ownership of your data and a whole apple for differentiated learning because it's accessible for all kinds of learners and because they offer great sponsorship opportunities. So overall, two and a half apples out of three for Mentimeter. Kahoot gets three quarters of an apple from the teacher for quick sign up and attention catching design. It gets one quarter of an apple for privacy because it does collect a lot of information and three quarters of an apple for differentiated learning because while it is accessible to many different types of learners, it just doesn't offer the sponsorship opportunities. So overall, one and three quarter apples out of three for Kahoot. Thanks, Thanks for, for debating, debating it out with us. Make sure to follow us at hashtag UNToolParade and be sure to let us know which platforms you want us to talk about next.